Hey guys, I just wanted to make a quick and easy video here today on how to use the CIOS installer on the Nintendo Wii. And the whole reason I wanted to make a singular video on this is because we've been using the D2X V11 Beta 1 for the longest time. And then out of nowhere, three weeks ago, we got D2X V11 Beta 2, and then last week we got D2X V11 Beta 3. And in Beta 3, it fixes an iOS 38 version identification, essentially a bug that's had a wrong value for like the past 13 years. So doing this will ensure that automatic CIOS selection works correctly with the VWare and Virtual Console games on the Wii. So this is pretty exciting, I'm going to show you guys how to get this set up, so let's just jump right into it. So since we're here, we're just going to go ahead and grab the D2X V11 Beta 3 Zip. And again, I'm doing this on the Wii, it's probably going to be the same for the V Wii. Uh, but if you're following along, we are going to be using the Wii Hacks Guide along with this. Now, unfortunately, if we scroll down here just for a second, uh, you can see during their screenshots, they're still using Beta 2. So I don't think they've integrated the uh, V3 download into their tutorials, but the process for it, like the Base 38, 248 and stuff should all still be the same. Uh, another thing that's worth noting is if you're using Mac or Linux, you can download the script right here and it'll download the WAD files you need for you. Uh, if you're able to connect your Wii to the internet, you can also skip this section to section 2, which I'll leave timestamps down below, that way you guys can skip to that. But assuming you want to do this the offline method or just want to follow along for today's video, all we're going to be grabbing from this site is the NUS downloader. So just give me a moment and uh, let's head over to the SD card. Okay, so I'm in my downloads folder right now. You can see I have our two files, the NUS downloader and the CIOS installer. I'm just going to highlight these and right click, go to extract each archive to a separate folder and then we can delete the zip files. After that, we're gonna go ahead and open up the NUS downloader, and we're gonna open the nusdownloader.exe, and we're gonna download some WAD files here. So let's just put this in view so you guys can see here. And now what we're gonna do is go into database, go into iOS, we're gonna look for 38 to start off with, and we're gonna grab version 4123. At the bottom here where it says pack WAD, we're gonna make sure this is checked, and then we're gonna hit start NUS download. After that, you can hit clear, and we're gonna do this three more times. So go to database, iOS. This time we're looking for 56, and then we're gonna grab 5661. Hit start NUS download, and then when it's finished, you can hit clear again. Two more times, database, iOS, 57, and we're gonna grab 5918. Go to start NUS download. When it's finished, hit clear one more time. And last one, database, iOS, we're looking for 58 this time, and we're gonna grab 6175. Start NUS download. And when we're all done, we can close out of this. Now in your NUS downloader folder, you should have a new folder called titles. Inside of each of these, if you just go to the search bar here and type in .wad, these are the four files we're gonna throw in our SD cards. Let me just open mine up here, just give me one second. Okay, so SD card over here on the left, all we're gonna do is toss in these four WAD files onto the root of our SD card. If you have a WADs folder, this is different. You're not gonna be tossing these in the WAD folder. It's still gonna stay on the root. But just let these transfer and I'll see you guys in a second. And after that's done, the next thing we're gonna do is return back into our downloads folder. We're gonna go into the D2X V11 beta three folder, open the apps folder, and we're gonna toss this folder here into our apps folder on the SD cards. Let me open that up, toss this in. And just so you guys know what it looks like after it's on the SD card, you can open it up and you should have the boot.dol file inside of that. So we're all set with the SD card. Let's go ahead and head over to the Wii. All right, so now that we're back on the console, you can see I'm already in the homebrew channel and we're gonna click on the D2X CIOS installer and hit load. Give this a moment to open up. Once you get to this screen, it'll say press any button to continue. You can just press A. And we're going to switch up some of the settings here, starting with the first one, which is select CIOS. We're going to make sure this says D2X V11 Beta 3. Go down to select CIOS base. We're going to change this to 38. Go down to select CIOS slot. We're going to do 248. And then go down to select CIOS revision, which is going to be 65535. Now, if your console has Wi-Fi, you didn't need any of the WADs. You should just be able to do this automatically. But assuming that you're following along, just go ahead and press A. A again, and we're going to let this download. Okay, now that that's finished, we're going to do this three more times. So press A to continue, and we're going to switch things up again. So go down to, or I should say go up to, select CIOS base again. And this time we're going to be doing 56. And then we're going to go to CIOS slot, change this to 249. Press A to continue, and A to continue. 
Okay, two more times, press A to continue. Change the base to 57 and change the slot to 250. Press A to continue and A to continue. Okay, one more time, press A to continue. Change the base to 58, change the slot to 251. Press A to continue and A to continue. All right, and when we're all done, we can press B. This will exit out of the CIOS installer and send us back to the homebrew channel. And that's pretty much it. You guys should be good to go. Now you can play your Wii games or GameCube games from a USB hard drive or a USB flash drive for use in like USB Loader GX like I have here above or Wii Flow. I don't really have very many USB Loader GX videos. Maybe I'll release that next. But I do have a ton of Wii Flow videos. So if you guys are interested in that, I'll leave a link somewhere either up above or down below or at the end of the video so you guys can just switch over to that. But that's pretty much it for me. If you guys have any problems, leave a comment down below. I'll try to help you guys out the best that I can. And I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.